The painted turtle is one of the most common and widespread turtles in North America. The painted turtle is so common that it is Michigan's state reptile. The painted turtle gets its name because of their bellies. They are usually bright yellow and red, which makes it look like someone painted them. The painted turtle is almost entirely diurnal. They can be found from all across the Midwest of the United States and in some areas of Canada. They are most commonly found in slow-moving bodies of water, like ponds or slow-moving creeks. Since they are cold-blooded, they need the sun's heat to keep them warm. As a result, they spend much of their time out of the water basking in the sun. As many as 50 turtles can be basking in the same log. When not basking, they spend the day foraging for food in the water. At night, they usually sit at the bottom of the pond. During winter, the painted turtle goes into hibernation. They swim down to the bottom of whatever body of water they were in and bury themselves with mud. They stay like that for several months on end until it's warm enough to come out. Since they are cold-blooded, they can't come out during the winter. They can stay underwater for months without eating or coming up for a breath of air while hibernating. For the painted turtle, breeding season starts right after hibernation in early spring. Males will look for females to breed with. One female will mate with multiple males. Females can store the sperm of males they've mated with from previous years. A single clutch of eggs from a female may have multiple fathers. Females and males are quite easy to differentiate. Males have longer tails than females and have much longer claws. Females grow larger than males in order to carry eggs. In early summer, females will go on to land and make a nest to lay their eggs. Their nest is usually around 200 meters away from the water. Females will try to find a sandy spot that has a lot of sunlight. If a female finds the right spot, she will dig a hole around 10 to 12 centimeters deep and lay around 4 to 15 eggs. The eggs are oval shaped and have soft shells. The mother then covers the eggs with sand. Eggs that incubate in a cooler temperature become males and eggs that incubate in warmer temperatures are females. After 72 to 80 days, the eggs hatch and baby painted turtles come out. The hatchlings then dig themselves out of the nest and are completely on their own. However, sometimes when they come out, it's too cold for them to go into the water. So instead, they sit in the nest and hibernate until spring when they finally emerge. This adaptation allows painted turtles to live much farther north than other turtles. Baby painted turtles are very small and around an inch long. At this time, they are very vulnerable to predators. Baby painted turtles mainly eat meat as they grow fast. As they get older, they start to eat more plants and their growth slows. Male painted turtles reach sexual maturity at around 2 to 5 years old and females at around 6 to 10 years old. Painted turtles are omnivorous. They will eat almost anything that fits in their mouth. They eat different types of fish crustaceans like crayfish, aquatic insects, and sometimes carrion. They also eat leaves, different aquatic plants, and algae. Underwater, painted turtles are quite fast and will actively hunt their prey. They don't sit in one spot waiting to ambush. They swim around and chase their prey. Because of their shells, adult painted turtles don't have many predators, but when they are young, many animals eat them. Painted turtle nests are often raided by several small animals like raccoons, crows, snakes, minks, and coyotes. After they hatch, they are still on the menu for many different animals. Large fish will eat baby painted turtles. Raccoons, otters, minks, foxes, coyotes, and birds of prey will all eat painted turtles. Even adult painted turtles get eaten by these animals. Turtles also get run over by cars a lot while crossing roads. Painted turtles have many defenses against predators, the most obvious one being their shell. Their shells are very tough, and they can pull their head and legs into their shell when they feel threatened. However, some animals can get through the turtle shell. Coyotes have been known to bite through turtle shells. Some birds will pick them up and drop them onto rocks to break the shell.
and in places like Florida, alligators and crocodiles can crush the shells of turtles. Painted turtles are also very good swimmers. When they spot any predator, the turtles will get into the water quickly. They use the water as a safe place to escape from many predators. The color of their shells helps them blend in and not be seen. Although many young painted turtles die because of predators and roadkill, they can live as long as 30 to 40 years in the wild. Some have been recorded to live as long as 50 years old, but this is rare. Painted turtles are a quite common species of turtles that people keep as pets. They can make good pets if you know how to care for them and do your research before getting one. Many people don't realize how big these turtles can get and how much space they actually need. They also need things like UVB in order to replicate important vitamins that they get from the sun in the wild. Painted turtles can make good pets if you are prepared for them, but you should never take a wild painted turtle from outside and keep it as a pet. Wild turtles may not adjust well to captivity. They usually have parasites and it hurts the wild population to remove them.